We have our heading. Here we go! From the magic within our hearts to the adventure beyond the horizon, there is only one Disney. First, we're going all the way back to the year 1928. This was the year that Steamboat Willie, the first ever Mickey Mouse, was created with his iconic whistling tune. Now that old chap's out the way, let's move on to a little fella named Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. He was actually made before Steamboat Willie, however they had copyright issues with the character, so they had to get rid of him. As we wander along, we discover the land of Snow White. She was made in 1937, where we whistled while we worked. Just whistle while you work. We also got introduced to the Seven Dwarfs. We then go forward to the year 1940, where we were all taught about if you lie, your nose will grow longer and longer with Pinocchio. I met somebody. Met somebody? Yeah. Uh, two big monsters with big green eyes. Who is your favourite Disney character? Baymax. Maui from the film Moana. Snow White is my favourite Disney character. Well, I love the Lion King, so probably Simba. Mike Wazowski. Rapunzel. <laughs> what does Disney mean to you? Uh, I think it's that sort of essence of, well, it used to be that essence of like childhood and innocence, but now it's just kind of a big corporation that likes films. I mean, to me, I just, when I think Disney, I just think films, a lot of them, and a big place with rides and stuff, and a company that has a lot of money. Disney means to me creativity, um, innovation, just because they've always got new ideas. Do you think that there are stereotypes within Disney? Um, there used to be, with like, obviously it was all just princess based. Um, yeah, I do, because. I think if you said Disney to anyone, they'd just think princesses. You know what I'm saying? And they don't really think outside the box. Yeah, there's loads, but there's starting to untangle. <laughs> we were all innocently watching those perfect Disney films when we were younger to only realise the darker meanings later on. We missed all the gruesome details. Did you know somebody actually hung themselves in Tarzan? I bet you didn't and the subtle, sad change in the film Up, where Carl and Ellie were painting a nursery, which then changes to the scene of them two being given the news about a miscarriage. For a children's film, this is pretty traumatic to share. What a wonderful world Walt created, or what it seems to be. We all wander about in the Disney parks and wonder what it's like to work there. Here's a few secrets. To get a dream role, there are a few steps to take in order to fit the part. You need to be able to be a certain height, weight, you also need to have a certain eye colour and also the right skin tone. This is a very strict dress code you don't want to cross. For all that, my experience with the parks was amazing. The parks came around in different years. The one that is located in California, USA, was open to the public on the 1st of April 1971. And the one in Paris, France, was open to the public on the 12th of April 1992, just 21 years apart, and the magic still remains to this day. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all live happily ever 